So hello everybody and welcome to another DAX Fridays, a new DAX function every Friday. In today's DAX Fridays, we're going to talk about the error functions and best practice on how to use them. Okay, are you ready? Let's get started. So here's the thing. I have a very simple model. The idea with this is to explain. So I have a model that has sales and profit. Okay, and let's say that we want to calculate the profit margin. Not that weird. So we're going to go here. If you come from the Excel world, this is what you're going to do probably, most likely, shift enter. You're going to go profit divided by sales, right? Because that's what you do in Excel. Well, let me show you something. We're going to put our sales there. We're going to go in here and make this a little bit bigger arrow up so we can roll these numbers up. Perfect. So here we have it. It says infinity on number five. Why does it say infinity? Let me show you. Where is sales is in here. You can see here that sales is zero and divided by zero you're in trouble. So same and sale. The difference here is that the entire formula does not crash, which is a plus. Okay. Now, here's the thing. You might wonder why the total is still a number when we do have an error in, well, it's not an error, it's just an infinity, when we have an infinity in there. Here's the thing, and this is a this is a great example to explain the thing with grand totals. Let's do that too while we are at it, shall we? So, here's the thing. You might think that Power BI calculates the same way as Excel. Mm -mm -mm, it does not. Let me show you. So here you have it, profit margins. And here at the end, you might think, oh, it is whatever you told it, the sum, the average, the... But it is not. It's not taking these values to compute that. It's taking the values of the total. Okay. So to calculate this 0 0.03 is doing 85 divided by 2550. And that's why it doesn't give you an error because there's no error in there. Okay. So remember that every time you have problems with totals, how Power BI calculates that. Parentheses on the side. Let's go back to the error. So how do you fix the error? Well, let's give it a few goes. So here's what we're going to do. First, we're going to create a, a variable. So I don't have to write this a thousand times. So profit equal. And then we're going to do return. And now we're going to do, okay, if you come from the Excel world, you probably do if uh, is error. So you're asking error, there we have it. And then you have profit you know, the result of the variable. So if that is error, then blank. Otherwise, give us the results of profit. Okay. You've done this a thousand times probably. And as you can see here, let's move this a little bit. So, oh, the editor. Oh, it just, I hate it with passion. <laughs> okay. That aside. So here you see, Instead of giving us the infinity thing, it is giving us blank. Okay, again, the totals are being calculated because Power BI does not care about what is happening row by row, it just does it by its own row when calculating totals. So, great. So, what's the deal? That is extremely inefficient way to calculate something. So, if you are using error functions in your model, most likely at some point, the performance is going to be poor, very, very poor, because it has to scan the table, everything, looking for, do the calculation, is this an error? Do the calculation, is this an error? Oh, no, it's not, go back, if, zero, mm, mm, no good. So you might say, Ruth, there is another error that is more efficient. I don't know if you knew it, but there is. And it is called, guess what? If, error. Okay, so if error, then you don't need this one anymore. And then you don't need the parentheses there. So it says, if profit is error, give blank, right? So it doesn't have to go multiple check 
oh, is this error zero if not? Mm. It just says, okay, error, okay, blank, error, blank. So it is more efficient, right? It's a better way. But it is still not very efficient. So what is the options? Well, there are functions that have this error functionality built in. And this is the best example because this is very, very, very easy. Let me show you. It is very graphical also. So if you would go here and you do uh, profit margin uh, two. <laughs> Let's let our imagination fly. Gosh, it's called divide. Okay, so if you want to do division, use divide. Always, always, always. I cannot write a divide without writing divide anymore. It's, it's just, I can't. It's, it, I have it, you know, you should do that too. So this is how it works. Divide, you put the, the numerate, numerator. Terminator, numerator, profit margin, and then the denominator, which is sales, comma. You do a comma. Instead of doing the bar, it took me forever to not write the bar. I would write divide, profit, and then, mm, no, it's comma, comma, and then you have the sales. And this beautiful thing has already built in the error functionality, right? So it is much, much faster. What happened? Oh, no, not profit margin. It is total profit. So talking and doing, you know, it's a dangerous thing. Okay, so there you have it, okay? And now as you can see, it just doesn't return an error. It just returns blank. So there is another way. And this is the number one way you should do it, always. You should always do divide anyhow, so no matter what. But clean your data, check your data for possible errors. For example, here in the sales, it says sales is zero. And then there's profit, maybe there's a customer that was not a purchase at all. So maybe, it doesn't mean that you should, depends on what you're trying to do, you can maybe get rid of that already, don't load it. So if it is bad data, there. If it is that bad data, get rid of it. It's not always that you can get rid of it. Sometimes you will have to use an error function, bad luck, but most of the time you don't have to. And there you have some tips as what to do to avoid using error functions. Okay? Do you have any other tips? Just let us know in the comment box. And this is all for today. I am going to leave you for the weekend so you can enjoy it and do some more Power BI with me on Monday, as always, right? Okay, enjoy your weekend. Have a great weekend and I'll see you again on Monday. Bye-bye.